computer bureaucrat and social bureaucrat in Switzerland. I am also one of the founders of Sanutara Haru in Nepal. The first exercise, affirmation, negation. We start with our feet. The left foot draws a semicircle and you put your whole weight on it. Affirmation. One more time. Now with the right foot, a semicircle towards the back. Negation. Once you have done this with both legs after another, now you can start the real exercise. First, slowly. And then slowly you become faster. And faster. To do this first exercise, carried out quickly several times without interruption, has an extremely strong effect on the respiratory system, especially in case of shortness of breath. This exercise makes you awake and helps you to develop a secure judgment. Second exercise. Sympathy, antipathy. Now you will put the whole weight on your right foot and only the left foot is moving. And in this case very slowly towards the front and very slowly towards the back. One more time but from the side point of view. Second exercise, sympathy, antipathy, again done by the feet. This time the right foot will stand and carry your weight. Only the left foot will move very, very slowly. Sympathy. Antipathy. If you want, you can use your arms a little bit. Soft movement, openness, more hard antipathy, sympathy, antipathy, sympathy. Now from the side point of view. Sympathy. Antipathy. With the arms. Sympathy. Antipathy.
The second exercise stimulates circulation and digestion. How does something foreign become my own? How do I integrate the outside into my rhythm and my time? Third exercise. Love E. Again we start with the feet. You put first your body weight towards the front and then towards the heels. Front, heels. And now with the arms, the gesture of love. As if you would embrace the whole world. E. Love. E. You fully open to the periphery. You are focused in your center. This exercise should be done 10 times, recommended by Rudolf Steiner. The third exercise, Love E, is circulation stimulating and has a warming effect. It helps to influence the astral body from the etheric body, from the lower part to the upper. So the etheric body is able to strengthen and rebuild a bridge to the astral body. Fourth exercise. Hope U. Again we start with the feet. You open in an angle and you lift your toes. And you put them together again. Open. Your arms, you open your arms and you press a little bit your elbows towards your body. Hope. Ooh. Now we combine the feet with the arms, the gesture of hope. Press your arms together, you become tight, you feel towards the center of the earth and open again. The fourth exercise, Hope U, relinks the astral body towards the etheric body, which is strengthened. The exercise has a beneficial warming effect on the respiratory system. The fifth exercise. This one is called either the rhythmical air or air with bending the upper body. Now we start lifting up our arms. Our hands have slightly tension and the upper body is moving a little bit backwards and forward, backward and forward. Now from the side point of view.
the fifth exercise, R, with bending of the upper body, has a helpful effect on the whole rhythmic system, the rhythm of breathing, the respiratory and circulatory system. The sixth exercise, ha a, the laughing exercise. We start pulling your shoulders towards your ears and then you let go. One more time. Now, when you let go, you form the sound of ah. Now you can do it more intense. Ha, 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 ah. Ha, 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 ah. Ha, 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 ah. In the sixth exercise, ha, ah, you will learn to laugh eurythmically. The healing effect of laughing is strongly intensified. The seventh exercise, the last exercise, a ha or a veneration. Here you start in your center and out of the center you form an ankle, the sound of a. And you put it all the way up and you let go towards the back. Ha. Ha. One more time from the side point of view. The seventh exercise brings the whole organism to accord with a feeling of veneration. If a person has the capacity of veneration and worship sincerely, the organism becomes more durable and resistant. We prepared these seven exercises especially for you. But I'm also very active in Nepal. I'm working there with the babies in an orphanage. Through COVID-19, the situation in Nepal got really worse. For further information and maybe donation, you're welcome to visit our website www.sanotaraharu.org. Namaste. Thank you.